let me welcome you all to our maths class of standard second our topic is let's measure length dear children the topic is let's measure the length here length means lambai okay and measure means maapna okay let's measure the length means we are going to measure the length of different articles different objects now let's move to our topic and let's learn about how to measure the length of the given article okay before that we will go through some portion of standard first now here circle the object which is short now dear children i know that you know the meaning of short long etc right yes dear children here you can see two scales one is small and one is long now our question is circle the object which is short yes which one we have to circle this or this yes you are right this one because this is short in length am i right okay let's try one more example circle the object which is long now here also we can see two objects these are brooms of different lengths isn't it now here we have to encircle the broom which is long yes this one or this very good this one because it is having long handle am i right so let's encircle this one okay now here one more question arrange the objects according to increasing order of their lengths yes here you can see four pencils of different lengths observe the lengths of these four pencils now what we have to do here arrange the objects means these pencils according to increasing order of their lengths yes from smaller to bigger or larger okay now first we have to select the smallest one this is our smallest pencil so let's take this pencil here okay now we'll move to the second small pencil this one right we'll take this here then a little big this one long right then a little long yes okay now the longest one this one right now these pencils are arranged in increasing order of their lengths means from smallest to biggest or tallest isn't it okay now we'll move to our today's portion this is a house of yash yash parents told to buy a table for studies okay and to keep here now here place is available for the study table yash wanted to buy a study table but he wanted to measure the place available for the study table means place from cupboard up to door now what to do now how to measure the place or space available for the study table he got an idea he brought one stick and he used this stick to measure the space available here see how he measured see this is one stick distance 2 3 4 means he has place of four stick lengths for the study table okay means he can purchase the four stick length study table to keep here okay that is the maximum place am i right now he went to the shop and he saw two sticks length table 
सी थ्री स्टिक्स लेंथ टेबल फोर स्टिक्स लेंथ टेबल एंड फाइव स्टिक्स लेंथ टेबल ओके यू गॉट डिफरेंट लेंथ टेबल नाउ वॉट यू डिड ही थॉट अबाउट द टू स्टिक टेबल टू कीप इन दिस प्लेस बट ही थॉट दैट दिस इज वेरी स्मॉल कंपेर्ड टू द स्पेस अवेलेबल सो नेक्स्ट ही थॉट अबाउट द थ्री स्टिक्स टेबल मीन्स थ्री स्टिक्स लेंथ ओके रिमेंबर दिस ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो ही फाउंड स्मॉलर राइट नाउ ही थॉट अबाउट द फोर स्टिक लेंथ टेबल Yes. See here, he thought it's good, nice. He can make the project work on this table. Okay. Then afterwards, he thought about five stakes length table. Yes, like this. But what happens? It comes before the door. Am I right? Okay. Now, dear children, why do you think yours did not choose the table that measured five sticks? Two sticks. It is very small. This is also small. But he can choose these three. But what about this five sticks length table? He rejected this, and he selected four sticks table. Why? Why he did like this? Yes, very good. This is lengthier one compared to the space available at his home, right? It may arise the problem to open and close the door, right? That's why he rejected the five sticks length table. Got this? Okay. now here you can see a door main door and two to three girls they are going to make a garland for this main door flower garland okay now they need the proper thread to make the garland now here we can see four different lengths threads see this one this is blue one second this is third and this is fourth one now children what do you think which thread is suitable to make flower garland for the door yes okay we'll take each thread with the door okay see the length of the thread and the width of the door okay compare this next blue c next green c this is smaller than this blue one right okay not possible now yellow this is too small to make the garland right now this is suitable one because we need a little longer because we wanted to tie this garland to the nails right here the ready made garlands we can see see here three different size ready made garlands now which one is suitable guess we'll take each garland to the door see this first one okay second c third yes this is the suitable one right we tied garland like this correct not from here outside the door correct right okay good now here one classroom is shown okay this is the area of the classroom and we can see the uh, different arrangements of benches 
see here here we can see six benches together two benches and three benches together okay we can use these benches to arrange the class okay now see let's make let's make use of this one see this first type is it suitable here six benches here two here three this is looking mess isn't it not tidy am i right this space is wasted now what we will do we will take this out we will change the arrangement we will take these benches here three here three this side again three here three right now our classroom is very tidy and neat isn't it got this now here one boy shubham he wanted to measure the length of the chalk he is thinking how to measure the length of the chalk he used his hand span but it is smaller to his hand no yes now he used the strip of paper then as he is not satisfied by measuring the length of the chalk by strip then he got an idea yes he folded that paper in equal parts see now he numbered the parts 1 2 3 and 4 and said that this chalk measures four equal parts of this strip yes dear students let us measure some more objects by using this method okay measure the length in units now we'll take one one item one time here you can see the u clip this is the paper strip of equal parts we'll number the parts see here the u clip measures two units correct now second thing is the color tube how many parts it measures see here four units got this children you also can make the paper strip like this by folding it equally okay so it gives equal parts now our third objective is eraser it measures see here three units right this is a very good activity of measurement and this is our gum stick it measures yes see the parts four units right okay very good now our pencil will measure the pencil okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven units right it measures seven units now here you can see two children they are in front of the open gate and open gate has two doors they wanted to measure the distance from one door to another door what they are using here they are using the rope thick thread rope yes they can measure the distance between these two gates by using this rope okay dear children let us move to the construction site here the building is going to construct the crane is digging the land right for basement now for construction of building the measurement is very very necessary during this construction 
the workers the engineers the architects they measure each and in every step see here the different pictures about the measurement here this man is surveying the land he is measuring the length and level of the land by this instrument here also you can see the, this man is measuring right how much depth is needed how much width is needed to construct the building see this the machine yeah surveying machine okay it tells about the length it tells about the width and it tells about the level of the land here you can see the measuring tape yes they need accurate measurements to build the building if the measurement is wrong then the building may fall got this children so measuring is very very important during the construction they give too much importance to the measurement see here each picture shows the measuring worker right yes dear children here you can see scales of two different size how to measure the length of the given line or any object by using the scale about this we'll study in standard 3 okay got this this is homework for you here you can see the objects and the strip right you have to give the numbers and you have to count how many units is the length of that given object okay you know how to put the numbers and how to measure isn't it okay thank you dear children children take any thread or rope or nylon thread whatever and try to measure the lengths of different objects at your home okay bye bye